And you're back here on Open. Darren Jaime here with you. Yesterday, the 2008 presidential campaign took a major step forward as 24 states held primary elections to help determine who will represent each party in the general election. Had some surprising state-by-state -state results that left the Democratic candidates in a tight battle. Professor Mariah Starr of Lehman College is here to give us more insight. And uh, good to have you here. Nice to be here again. Thank when you, you talk about Super Tuesday, Super Tuesday was considered to be, in many aspects, the final or actually the finish line of the race for the Democratic mm -hmm. and the Republican uh, nominations for the presidency. We do know out of the Republican Party, there was a clear front runner. Yes. Democrats still up in arms. Well, not up in arms, but up in the <laughs> air, I should say, yes. as to who their, uh, is go who their uh, candidate is going to be. Uh, in regards to this, this had to be, A, number one, a Super Tuesday. And two, are you surprised by the results? Uh, this was a Super Tuesday. By any measure, you're correct. Mm -hmm. It's a historic Super Tuesday. Never before in the history of the United States have 22 states voted simultaneously on a single day for a primary. Mm -hmm. Now, the result was pretty much expected. Everyone, um, all the candidates, Clinton, Obama, McCain, the election went pretty much according to the polls. Mm -hmm. There were some surprises in certain states. Um, Obama was hoping to carry Massachusetts because of the Kennedy endorsements, but Clinton won there. But he will carry Connecticut, where Clinton had been ahead in the previous month. So there were some surprises in certain areas, but overall, both candidates expected a split. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what happened. And you look at the candidates, the Democratic race, uh, further away from a clincher, we should say. 1,681 delegates up for stake on Super Tuesday. And uh, even though Clinton holds a slight lead over Obama with delegates, she has fewer than half of the 2,025 needed mm -hmm. for nomination. Yes, that is correct. In fact, when you look at the delegate breakdown, there is about a 100 delegate difference in super delegates, but for the pledge delegates, the delegates that are count on Super Tuesday, it's almost even. About a five delegate difference mm. between Obama and Clinton. So even though Clinton carried the big states, Obama carried the rest. So they split everything down the middle. In fact, in New Mexico right now, Obama is ahead by about 1,000 votes. Um, he carried Missouri by about 500 votes. I mean, this is a contest that is epic in every single sense. Mm -hmm. On the Republican side, it's winner take all. So you have New York, California, New Jersey. Most of those states are winner take all, and McCain carried all the big states, which means he is very much a leader of the Republican Party right now. Mm -hmm. Talk about that difference, because most Republican contests are winner take all, but mm -hmm. then on the Democratic side, contests are awarded proportionally, simply with mm -hmm. based on the number of congressional districts won. Talk about the difference in the parties and the difference in how you figure out the delegate scheme. Okay, this is a bit complicated, so it will take a minute to explain. Um, on the Democratic side, what you have here is Jesse Jackson won the primaries in the South in 84 and 88, and he helped the Democratic Party to move toward more proportional representation, to cater more toward minorities. As a result now, we have a congressional district by congressional district race because when you have a single district, let's say you have uh, five delegates in that district. If both candidates get to uh, say 55-45, the candidate with the most votes gets three out of the five delegates. Mm -hmm. In contrast, if you have a district that is evenly divided, they may have 58-42, but they get only two delegates each for a four delegate district. So this is a campaign that's based on getting the most delegates per district. With the Republicans, it's a statewide vote that matters. And what they're trying to do for the Republicans is make sure that they consolidate around a nominee as quickly as possible. Whereas with the Democrats, they're trying to make it as balanced as possible. Mm -hmm. You have the urban vote versus the rural vote. You have small states versus big states. And so ultimately, you have Obama carrying all the typically red states, such as Alabama, such as Missouri, whereas Clinton carries all the typically Democratic states, California, New York, Massachusetts. So this is a battle that's based on going after the last delegate available. Mm. And that is something you've never seen before on the Democratic side. On the Republican side, hey, John McCain has more than three times as many delegates, more than four times actually, 
as the nearest competitor, Mitt Romney. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Republican side. GOP exit polls show Latino and Asian Republicans may have also helped and playing an important part in John McCain's victory for the GOP. Mm -hmm. uh, Mitt Romney led among white Republican voters, but McCain led among uh, Latinos and Asians, the second and third largest voting blocks behind whites among California mm -hmm. voters. Uh, interesting trend there. It is very interesting, and it shows very some, so, something very specific about McCain. He has broad appeal in the same way that Obama does. McCain appeals to independents, to moderates, and to other ethnic voters, like Hispanics. Mm -hmm. In contrast, the typical Republican voter has mostly been white and male in the past. And McCain is struggling, struggling to get those voters. If you look at the turnout, the evangelicals went for Huckabee. So that's why Huckabee carried Tennessee, he carried West Virginia, he carried Alabama. Whereas McCain, he's trying to get those conservatives now to rally behind him. And that's a very tough battle for him. I mean, this is ultimately going to be a contest between McCain and the entire Republican Party. Well, well let's, talk, let's take a look at right now at some New York State results as well as the results from the Bronx because this is what makes it uh, happen here in the borough of the Bronx and particularly in Bronx County. Uh, Democrats here and Republicans, Democrats 60% for Barack Obama, uh, pardon me, 60% for Hillary Clinton, 38% for Barack Obama. And on the Republican side, John McCain gets 50% of the vote. Mitt Romney, 21, and Ron Paul, 10%. Uh, how much does Rudolph Giuliani's endorsement of John McCain really help him <laughs> in New York, or was this already a sealed deal? That's a good question. You see, the problem here is that we really don't know how much endorsements matter overall. Now, obviously, um, the endorsements from the, the Florida governor may have helped um, McCain to win, but here, we don't really know. Now, Giuliani, since he was mayor, provided a key endorsement that may have helped McCain to capture that vote. But what you really have is the conservatives in New York defecting from McCain and going toward Romney or Huckabee. So Giuliani is not a conservative. Mm -hmm. you know, he's pro-choice. He's pro-gay marriage. So he and McCain get along in that respect. They have moderate views in the Republican Party. So New York is a moderate as well. You, know, you have many moderate Republicans here. And that's why Giuliani's endorsement probably helped. We're not sure how much yet, mm -hmm. but it probably made a difference. How much is the Oprah Winfrey push helping on the other side with Barack Obama? It is helping as much as the Kennedys, as much as all those actors. I mean, you have Obama tapping in to the mega celebrities across the entire country. And that's why you go to North Dakota, you go to Montana, you go to Idaho. People are coming in massive numbers filling up stadiums, 20,000, 30,000 for Obama. You go to Connecticut, I mean, this is a case where it's not just about politics, this is about rock star potential. Mm -hmm. He is a guy who can dominate the entire country with his endorsements. And Oprah is key here because she helps to turn women voters out. The problem there is that with women, they're solidly behind Clinton. Clinton has been able to capture women and Hispanics, whereas Obama has captured blacks and young voters. Mm -hmm. And then there's the older voters that go for Clinton as well. So we're seeing that endorsements are key, but they don't make much of a difference in these states where Clinton has already been ahead. Let's talk a little bit about looking towards November. Are, is the Republican Party going to have a huge problem considering even in these primaries, you're seeing massive Democrat turn, Democratic turnouts in terms of primary voting. Should the Republicans have something to be very concerned about? Well, the turnout among Democrats is possibly an indicator of turnouts in November. But what you have here are, are two factors that really need to be spelled out. Um, on the Democratic side, it's history. The first African-American president, possibly Barack Obama, the first woman president, possibly Hillary Clinton. I mean, that has never happened before, and both candidates are so cool for the Democrats. This is why they are so incredibly excited right now. I mean, we are seeing history in the making at this moment. Mm -hmm. With Republicans, it's different. You have Iraq. You have immigration. You have a failing economy. So the Republicans have many more problems going into November, and that's why you see a depressed turnout. But the key with the Republicans is McCain. Mm -hmm. Conservatives hate McCain. Rush Limbaugh, Sean Hannity, 
you have so many conservatives, especially on talk radio and cable, saying if McCain is the nominee, the Republican Party is no more. All right. Well, we want to come back and talk a little bit more with Mariah Cigar, pardon me, Star, discussing our 2008 presidential primaries. Before we go to break, we want to take a look at some statewide numbers. And when we return, we'll get Mariah's opinion on that when we return here on Open. <laughs> 